Okay, so I wanted to play viewers today. I didn't really want to talk about the drama all day. And I'll play one minute, three minute, or five minute. I don't care. Just challenge me one minute, three minute, or five minute. As long as it's odd. And there's no increment, no delay, and it can't be rated. So it's unrated. One minute, three minute, or five minute. Challenge me and I'll play you. And remember, if you win, then I'm going to accuse you of cheating. And I'm going to have Magnus send you a DM telling you that you cheated too. Or well, maybe I won't do that. I might. Me and Magnus are like that, son. No, but actually, here's a good question. This is a serious question. I don't know the answer. I don't. Who dislikes me more, Magnus or Hans? <laughs> I don't know. Pe people on Twitter, thanks, fans, Fanston. Pe people on Twitter think that, like, I hate Magnus and I'm in love with Hans. I can't believe people on Twitter are wrong. I've never seen people on Twitter be wrong before. Oh, wait a minute. They figure whoever you agree with in the in the tra travesty that's going on, that's who you like. Because that's the way they do things. They like something, so then they, they never not like it. It's just like, I love it. Yay. So I just go by what I think is true. Hans, Hans didn't cheat in the Singfield Cup. Hans has cheated before, and he'll cheat again. But he didn't cheat in the Singfield Cup. One guy said... He said, here's Feingold's summary of the event so far. Hans has cheated every game he's ever played except in the Singfield Cup. That was a good summary of my thoughts. I like that. Somebody was claiming on Twitter that in some of the analyzed games where Hans played 100% engine moves, that he lost those games. So that calls into question the methodology that's being used. By the way, if, if I played 100% engine moves and I lost, uh, I, I, would, I would think my opponent cheated a lot. <laughs> a lot better than I did. Is it my move? Yeah, okay. I never know whose turn it is. I'm not a good cheater. I never know whose turn it is. Anyway, the reason I don't think Hans cheated in the Sinkfield Cup is I didn't see any evidence of that. It just looked like he played normal games all the whole tournament. Looks like he played good, he played bad, he played average, and he got like 50% or something. You know? it, it didn't seem like he did anything like, oh my God, that's, that's the greatest game I ever saw. The best game of the Sinkfield Cup was the one Magnus beat Nipom Nishi in the first round. That, that was the best game of the, of the event. Magnus played like a genius that game. He made Nepo look bad, and Nepo's pretty good. You know, Jan could win a lot of games in a row, but it looked like he was just outclassed that game, because he probably was. Go hype train, people of the world. Join in. Join the hype train. Man, I can't believe the Braves lost yesterday in pathetic fashion. They needed to win that game. They lost to the Nationals in extra innings. Lose to the Nationals? God damn. Nationals are like the Tigers. Terrible. It wears me out. My night's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I have less time and I have a worse position. But I could sacrifice the exchange Petrosian style, which took over from Gangnam style. I must sacrifice the exchange. I must. He's like, haha, Ben trapped his rook. But little did he know I was trying to sacrifice the exchange. Never play F3. Should I take with this pawn and put my knight on D3? Or take with a queen and secure the blockade? I guess I'll take this pawn. And then I'll do this and then, you know, I'll try to win on time when I'm losing. That's my go-to. Every game I prove I'm not using an engine. I'm good at proving it. Man, the train died pretty early. Now, Hans got 50% in the Singfield Cup. He won two games and lost two games. Let's see here. Okay, so my plan is to win on time. Okay. I got to have a plan in chess. 
That's my plan. I'm not sure I'm worse here. I am down the exchange, but my knight's really good. His pawn structure's bad. His rooks have nothing to do. I'm not sure that I'm worse anymore. I have more time, too. Thanks, JA734. You're the best. Okay, let's make ourselves worse. Let's do something. Not my strong suit. <laughs> Maybe he won't see his queens attacked. It's only 2,000. Damn, he saw his queen was attacked. I wonder if he's cheating. I don't like that. Oh, that hangs my pawn. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I see five pawn was hanging. I didn't notice that. I oh, will take it now. He might not see queen e5. Don't see your queens attacked. Damn, this guy sees everything. Let's see, put it. Oh, I didn't see my knight was attacked. Damn, he didn't either. I didn't see bishop g5 the previous move. Yay, I'm the best. The engine says I played 0% engine moves. Damn. Cheating in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Perpetual Podcast has good guests on the last a couple of weeks about the cheating scandal. I haven't listened to it. But those guys, those guys aren't dumb. Like David Smearden, he's a GM and he's a smart guy. He's, he's like a professor. And then the other guy's good too, Jonathan Rousen. Those guys aren't like Hans cheated because this person doesn't know how to play chess and their computer said so. That's, that's not their take. This person who works for Chess24 said so. <laughs> yeah, you guys believe anything. Okay, one minute. McJurgle's 1900? Is that the McJurgle that I know? What? 1900? I thought he was like 1200. I must be thinking of somebody else. It wears me out. I guess I should trade queens and take this. It wears me out. He's not playing like he's 1900. He's playing like he's like 96 moves. I had 16 seconds left. See, I'm not as bad as I play. One guy, I wasn't sure if he was on, on, on Twitter. He tweeted that I was jealous, but I'm not sure if I was jealous of Hans or Magnus. I think he meant I was jealous of both. He was jealous that I'm jealous I've never played real GM chess and that I didn't cheat like Hans did, and I'm, like, jealous that I didn't cheat. I wasn't sure if he was saying I was jealous of Magnus or Hans. Like, I'm jealous of Magnus because he's so good, or I'm jealous of Hans because he cheated and won, and I didn't think of that. I wasn't, wasn't sure. 
He might have meant both. And I was like, man, you figured it out. He got me. I wasn't sure who I was jealous of, but somebody. 100% accuracy. Yeah, look at that game. Yeah. Samhain OG subscribed. All right. Some guy on Twitter asked me today, did I have any opinion on the drama? So I, I said I haven't been following it, so I don't know. And he said, oh, okay. You probably have better things to do. <laughs> I haven't been following it. I'm jealous of Holly Reza. God damn it. Man, Holly Reza plays good 30-second chess. I think I'm more jealous, jealous of Danya. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Twitter is the best. Twitter's okay, as long as it's funny. What about Delugi? What about Delugi? Don't you want someone to checkmate you? What about Delugi? Don't let him slip away. Yay. Well, I won that game. That was a good game. I don't know if I've ever played 96 moves in a one-minute game on chess.com and had 16 seconds left. I must be cheating because I don't think I've ever done that. I had to make sure we didn't do the 50-move rule. So when I was moving my king around randomly, I made sure I never went to the same square for trip repetition reasons. And then I would make a pawn move or take his pawn occasionally. Otherwise, 50-move rule, trip repetition, stuff like that. That was the only thing I was considering. It was very important. All right, let's see. Who do I want to play now? I don't have to play people in the order they challenged me. I can play anybody. <laughs> but I will play people in the order they challenged me. That seems more fair. Wow, he's a British 400. God damn, what does that even mean? Maybe he won't take back. Don't take back. Maybe he won't move his knight. Don't move your knight. Damn, this guy's really good for 453, considering he's British. No, he checked me. Maybe he won't see his bishops attack. How am I supposed to win if he sees stuff? Maybe he won't see his knights attacked. Mm -hmm. F5 defends his knight. Darn. Every move perfect. Man, this guy plays like Hans three years ago. Oh, snap. Four years ago. It's chess with Ovi. Go, Ovi. I'm rooting for you. Never play F6. I'm not saying that Ovi's overrated, but I'm not saying he's not overrated. Always play Bishop F1. Man, that's the best Ovi's ever played. I mean, I beat a 2300 player like that. I must have been cheating. That's that's my take on it. Man, look at my one minute rating and look at his. I'm 2464 in one minute. God damn. What happened to me? I turned into an old man. I cannot do it. Always play bishop f1. If you don't play bishop f1, you can't play bishop e3, mate, because the pawn on d3 is not defended. And bishop c3 is not made because of king here. So always play bishop f1. Chess base says you're better than Hans now. It does. Not me. How do you turn into an old man? Keep, keep trying. You'll get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's what Ovi does. He plays badly and he's losing. 
and then he starts losing on purpose and says he was trolling the whole game. That way, it look, makes it look good at the beginning, like, he played bad, but you don't know that. You think he was kidding. So that's good. Yeah, see? He says, I was. Nice. My pre-moves were great. Greg Shahadi had a funny tweet. He says, Hans is really getting canceled. He's played in all the big tournaments the last month, and now he's playing in the U.S. Championship. <laughs> You missed my comment. I'm going to submit all your games into Let's Play using Xpilot, Exploit, Posted. My accuracy will be 100% every game you play? No. Yeah, good luck with that. Drain Lord, 500 cents to do's. Go have lunch. What time controls are people challenging in mods? Oh, you mean in and then you're asking the mods. Oh, okay. Uh, one minute, three minute, or five minute unrated. Let's see. Probably shouldn't play five minute because there's so many people challenging me. But all right. I'll play people in the order they challenged me. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing all time controls. But maybe I shouldn't play five minute because it takes too long. Make sure it's unrated when you challenge me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, JA734 did something like a sub or sent to dues. He did something. I don't know what he did, but it was good. It's hard to play one minute and then play five minute because I'm like, I want to pre-move every move. But it was five minute, so probably shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's make most of the games one minute if we can, just so I get to play more people. Probably should stop with the five minute. All right, no more five minute challenges. I'm deleting them. One minute or three minute? One, one, what? All right, now whose turn is it? Mine? Mine! Uh, A6, that'll show them. CG6. It wears me out. It wears me out. That's my new favorite song by Radiohead. Fake Plastic Trees. What's the song's only like 25 years old. <laughs> uh, Bishop G7 hangs this. Queen E7 walks into the eternal pin. I don't know, I, sh I could resign. And I'll go here. Maybe he'll play Queen here, hanging his bishop for nothing. Damn. These guys never blunder every move. It looks like a Benoni, even though it was like a closed Benoni. It looks like a normal Benoni now. Although, I guess if I had played ED, he wouldn't have played FD. So, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Man, E5 is crushing. I hope he doesn't play that. Good. I'm still getting crushed, but he didn't play E5. Let's see, knight here. Yeah, I have a big threat. Damn. I see everything. Let's see, rook f8. And then knight e8 to d6, and then the hangs my pawn. All right. Yeah, a5 is annoying. I probably have to play f5 to confuse him, although f5 looks terrible. But all right. If I don't play f5, I just lose on the queen side. So I might as well lose on both sides of the board. Why lose on one side? Oh, no, I'm cheating with an engine. Oh. <laughs> Even though I'm completely lost. <laughs> and I have less time. Stop challenging me when it's rated. I only play unrated. Yeah. It wears me out. 96, yeah. Just challenge me one minute or three minute unrated. Big money, big money, 99.99. Yay, thanks Gina04, that is big money. Comedy gold. I do rant a lot, that's true. 
Let's see, knight takes. I guess. Ever since he played a5, he forgot about the queen suck. Damn, he remembered this time. Darn. Let's see, this wins his queen, right? So that's probably a good move. Yes. I'm the engine. I am the engine. Thanks, Tim Cannon Poker. I am the engine. Ain't no beads. Don't you think the Joker laughs at you? Man, this guy must be pissed. He's just totally destroying me strategically, tactically. Then he hangs his queen. I'd be pissed if I was him. He didn't donate enough. That was the problem. It's probably not even resignable. That's how bad my position was. I mean, like, it's engine resignable. If two engines are playing, okay, then, then Black's going to win. But It's probably not human resignable. I take his queen, takes with a bishop, threatening my knight and my c-pawn. Seven pass pawns. Knight's good, bishop's bad. What kind of position I'd have with white? Down a queen, but some reasonable compensation. Not too good. Commencing countdown, engines on. It's unmoral? So many words you could have said, and you said unmoral. You didn't say immoral or amoral. What? Unmoral. Is that like unmoral oral? Did you like my shirt? So I got to tell you the story of this shirt. It's an unbelievable story. A lot of you won't believe it. That's how unbelievable it is. So I'm at the some na super nationals in Tennessee. I think it was a super nationals, but it might've been just the nationals. I don't know, but it was in Tennessee at the Opryland, you know, the tournament in Nashville, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And I'm sitting there and I don't know what I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm like sitting at a table and maybe I'm playing chess with kids or maybe I'm talking to Mike Klein or maybe I'm talking to Karen. I, I don't know. It's, it's like six years ago. And this guy walks up and he's wearing this shirt. And when I say he's wearing this shirt, he's wearing this shirt, literally this shirt, not the same shirt. He's wearing this shirt, this one. Not, not the same shirt that he got another store. He's wearing this shirt. And I said, I like your shirt because I like his shirt. He took his shirt off and said, here. <laughs> and I said, well, I, I can't take your shirt. He says, yeah, 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 sure. Here. He was like a fan of mine, so he wanted me to have his shirt. Okay, then later, he came back a few minutes later and gave me another shirt because he was like a firefighter in Detroit and he had like a Detroit firefighter shirt and he gave me that one too. So the guy gave me the shirt off his back. So then I'm like, I like that shirt, so he gave it to me. So there you go. I mean, that's how I, that's how I met Karen. I said, man, you're, you got a nice body. And she said, did you, did you want it? I was like, yeah, that's, that's how we met. So anyway, it's, it's a knockoff pickle Rick shirt, obviously, you know, illegal, but it's pickle Rick and so forth. Pickle. And my daughter hates that episode. That's her least favorite Rick and Morty episode, pickle Rick. I don't know why she hates it. I don't know. I mean, that would be great. No, he knew who I was. He was a fan of mine. He's like, here, have this shirt. So there you go. He's like, here's, here's, yeah, I know. My daughter doesn't like the Pickle Rick episode. Terrible. No, basically, the, the important discussion about Rick and Morty is which episode do you like more? We could do a poll. Pickle Rick or Tiny Rick? Because those are great episodes, but I don't know which one I like more. I don't know. She likes Tiny Rick, but she doesn't like Pickle Rick. That's where you got your anal beads. You asked Hans, can I have some anal beads? He's like, you could have mine. Man, truth hurts. Getting swifty in here. Pickle Rick is the best episode of comedy ever. Wow, I didn't think it was that good. Who's Pickle Rick? Him. He's Rick, but he turned himself into a pickle. I'm not ranking the other episodes. They just, these have Tiny Rick and Pickle Rick, and they're both sort of tiny. So that's why I'm comparing them. We could name other episodes that are great, you know, et cetera. Go Pickle Rick. All right, time to play more people, if you can call them people. Thanks for the $99.99. You're the best. If anybody else wants to donate $99.99, I'm, I'm here. 
I was watching the poker last night from the Hustler Club on YouTube, and I said something in the chat, and Joey Ingram said, with all the money I'm making off Twitter, I should play in the game. And I was like, what? I can't even afford to watch the game. I've made no money off Twitter, but I wish I, I did. I don't have enough followers to make money off Twitter. I did break 20,000 followers on Twitter uh, two days ago. So 20,000, yay. I didn't make a big deal about it because, you know, nobody cares. Put it in H. Hey, he didn't put it in H. This is three minute. Man, if I'm playing one minute, three minute, five minute, and I don't remember what time control I'm playing, that's going to be bad for me. I'm going to either play too fast or too slowly. I mean, too quickly or too slowly, obviously, frankly. Uh, queen B3, that lets me sack the exchange. Well, that was my phone. I thought it was the computer. Yes, I get to sack the exchange. It's not even, like, wrong. Like, it's probably, like, one of the best moves. I am the GM. I have the white squares. Goo 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 joob. Expert, textbert, smoking joker. Don't smoking. Don't you think the joker laughs at you? Man, these songs that are 55 years old are confusing me. I am the Eggman. I am the GM. I have the white squares. Also, I have two pawns. And my dog's barking. They don't like my singing. This position seems pretty, pretty, pretty good for white. Oh, I have more time, too. Two bishops and four pawns, what else? Did I lose my bishop on a6 yet? Not yet? Okay. Always retweet. I'm playing 100% engine moves, except for one thing. Yeah, I didn't see that. Let's see. Now I want to play f4, but I guess I'm going to play f4. I'm not sure why I don't want to play it. I just don't. But I guess it's the only move. So My engine said so. I'm the cheatingest. Don't meet me on the, the H file. Meet me somewhere else, like St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. Meet me, but it's unfair. Five minute, no, three minute or one minute. Yay, a thousand centidues. First time chat. That's a good chat. Thanks, giant. You're the giant. Worm the giant. Famous cheaters in the past? I mean, like Azmai Parashvili? Oh, snap. Um, Let's see. He defended his knight, so I can't stop the rip from coming here. Hmm. There should be a way. I guess I could play knight h4. I guess that'll stop his rook. I hope so. Otherwise, I get mated in one. If he doesn't mate me, I'm sitting pretty. I have this interesting plan. a4, a5, a6, a7, a8. So if he doesn't mate me, that's a good plan. Let's see. He wants to take my knight. So I move my king. I have to defend my pawn. So king h2. Ugh, man, this is getting suspicious. Got four pieces attacking my king. But he does have 15 seconds left, so that's good. I am the Eggman. I am the GM. Got a lot of knights hanging there. 
Ooh, that's defended. This will probably win on time. He's expecting some. Oh, I could check and take his rook, too. He won't see knight f5. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't see knight f5. I'm only up the exchange? That's it? I thought I just took all of his pieces. I only have a rook for a knight? Man. I thought I'd be up like a lot. Damn, I'm only up the exchange. I like lost material, I guess. Oh no, I sacrificed the exchange and now I'm up the exchange. And I still have all my extra pawns. Yeah, I don't know. I'm too old for this game. I beat him and, and, and I obviously cheated because I have so much extra material. And I sound confused after the game like I wasn't playing the game, like Hans did. So I must have been cheating. I didn't understand what was happening that game. Got to play classically. <laughs> Go chess with Ovi. It's the Ponziani. I'll follow the game Kaif versus Anand from 1988. Let's see, what did he do? He played Knight Takes. I'm not sure it was 88. It could have been 89 or 90. Yeah, this is this is Rini Kaif Anand from 34 years ago. That's the theory that I know in the Ponziani. That's the last time I studied it. Yeah, this is still the game. <laughs> this is still my prep from 1988. <laughs> Somebody look that game up. Anand was black at a Ponziani against Kaif. Kaif is spelled K-U-I-J-F. And there's two Kaifs. There's two of them. We call Marinus Kaifrini because nobody wants to say Marinus. Did a non-sheet with an engine in 88? Not in 88. Yeah, this is still the game. I th this is my prep. This is my 34-year-old prep is this position. <laughs> this, is, this is the end of my prep. <laughs> I wonder if the prep holds up today, if this is still considered a reasonable way for black. Oh, it was 1990? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was around then. I lived in Europe 88 to 92. Yeah, uh, Anand won in like 23 moves. You guys will be like, it was 24 moves. I, I'm guessing it was 23 moves. It was pretty quick. I think Anand got his queen over here and started doing stuff. You got to start doing stuff. <clears throat> 24 moves? No. No. Why is my memory so bad? It's funny because it looks like White was the one who put his queen over there and got crushed. Yeah, Nand was good. Yeah. I've played Kaif. I've beaten him and I've lost to him. I've also played his brother. I forgot his brother's name. His brother's like 2300 and Kaif was like 2450. The, the higher rated one. I forgot what Kaif's brother's name is. Damn. I haven't thought about him in, you know, 33 years. That's probably why I forgot his name. No, and I'm lost in six moves. That was in 1988 to, to um, Alonzo Zapata. You could argue it was five and a half moves. Like Zapata made move six with white and then Anand resigned. I'm not sure if that's six moves or not. Who was the US checkers player that never lost? Probably Newell Banks. But that was, uh, that was 100 years ago. What am I, yes sir? I'm talking about stuff from 100 years ago. I guess Bishop D8 is better. I mean, I'm not playing as well as it on. Yeah, Newell Banks was good at chess and checkers. He was top 30 in the U.S. in chess, and he was top one in the world in checkers. 
Top, he was the top one. And he was also like Pillsbury. He could do things blindfolded. Play chess and checkers at the same time blindfolded and not lose. He and Pillsbury were like that, son. Although I think he was after Pillsbury. Okay, I better sack a pawn because my position's so bad. I need to get the two bishops. I can't believe Anand had an easier time than I did. Man. I threatened two pawns. What else? He defends neither one. That's probably the right move. Yeah, I could sack the exchange. I'm so lucky. I won't do it, but I could. The threat of sacking the exchange is better than the execution. And now somehow I'm up a pawn. It doesn't seem like I'm up a pawn. It seems like I'm getting crushed. Hmm? It's Twitter. Uh, I don't know, here. Hooray for Ben, a perfect game. That was like a nuns game because I was black. It was the same opening and I won. So that had a lot in common. F6 was deleted. No. Go find gold fans. You guys are the best fans or something. I always think everybody on the internet hates me, but I think it's only like 20%. It's probably just 20%. They're louder than the people who like me. That's the problem. They're too loud. I'm going to win on time on move three. Cool. Yay, 200 cents, 201 cents to do. Thanks, Darf. Go, Darf. You're 23%. Okay. What's my best YouTube video ever? I don't know. Probably the one where I like make fun of Akaru for like an hour. <laughs> that's one of my, that's one of the 10 most popular videos. You know, the one where Hikaru was like banning everybody from, from YouTube. And then like Nerditsky got mad and Hansen got mad. You remember that it was like two years ago. And then Chess Bay got fired and all that, when all that happened. That video I made is pretty popular. <laughs> yeah, just go to my YouTube channel and like look at the 10 most popular videos and that'll be one of them. Felt like yesterday. Oh, it was only a year and a half ago? No, chess bait just doesn't... Chess bait still works for Ricardo. She just doesn't doesn't announce... There's, there's no chess bait like, account that's known to be chess bait. But she's still behind the scenes. She still does stuff. She's just not in the forefront anymore. What's my head-to-head -head versus Shahadi? Mike Shahadi, Jen Shahadi, or Greg Shahadi? <laughs> you know, it's funny, Tides of Fat. When you ask me who, who I think killed John Benet Ramsey, because I've done a lot of work on that. <laughs> I was interested in that. So I've watched every TV show and read any, every internet and seen all the police stuff. I've, I've done a lot of work on that. <laughs> And I, I, I don't know. And I thought for a long time it was the parents, because it's always the parents. 
Um, but now I don't think it was the parents after doing more research. So I don't know. It's a very strange story. The more you look into it, the more you don't know. It's like anything that's, you know, needs to, these facts around it. It's sort of like the Neiman Delugi Magnus thing. The more you look into it, the more you're like, I don't know. Well, I didn't even see that was legal. It's not a good move, but I didn't see it was legal. I thought he was going to take that. <laughs> it wears me out. Seems like if the people who investigated it for 20 years don't know, then I probably don't know. Who's going to take on F3? That's interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay, now where's my tricky move? It wears me out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with this. And then we'll see what he does. Takes that, takes that. His bishop's hanging on f3, so that should just win for me. My bishop f5 check if king d7. Yeah, so my move was right. I guess the other rook is good too. No, this, yeah, the other rook is also good, yeah. Yeah, if he plays bishop e7, I take the bishop. Oh, then he takes with the king. Oh, then I check on e3 if king f8 takes pins his f pawn. Yeah, so I'm taking on e7 is still right. It wears me out. Queen e7, was this Ovi? Man, it looks like Ovi took over. Who is Hans? Correct. Says Magnus with Dralsen. <laughs> Giving himself the name after a withdraw against Hansen. Against Hans, that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, uh, and so forth you were a vegetarian back in the zero zeros uh yes that's correct oh huh. i became a vegetarian in 1986 in july um and then vegan was january 2017 i think once it was 2018 i think it was january 2018 Aaron Judge tied Roger Maris. That happened yesterday. Jesus. Why'd you become a vegetarian? Just type exclam vegan. I don't know. How can I remember stuff, you know, that happened in 1986? You guys don't remember. Play me again so you can bully me more. I'm playing people in order. I can't just keep playing you. I bully everybody. Bully, bully. Yeah, I showed Nigel my game. He said, bully, bully. Twenty-one twelve. that's a little high for my stream. Bosnia and Herzegovina, he's from two countries? Jesus Christ. He should be playing guys from Trinidad and Tobago. Two countries, what else? You bet me your sister. What are you uh, from? Uh, come on, make the joke, Ben. <laughs> are you from Kazakhstan? Nobody ever plays the book move, queen b3. It wears me out. Mm -hmm. 
I take you, you take me. I'm the worst player in history. Hmm? Eric the Clown subscribed. Hooray! <laughs> Eric the Clown from Seinfeld. Bozo. I never heard of Bozo. This ain't my real job. Do you guys know which currently famous actor and director played Eric the Clown on Seinfeld in the one episode? Let's see who gets it in the chat first. Who played Eric the Clown? Who remembers who it was? That's right. You hung out with some clown from the 60s, man. <laughs> John Favreau is correct. Good, good answer. The other answers were not correct. <laughs> this ain't my regular gig, man. No, I don't know who Bozo the Clown is. <laughs> Is it my move? No, okay. So he might not take back, so we gotta give him a chance not to take back. Damn, I hung my pawn here, darn. No, he didn't take it. Good, good. I'm a pawn up. What? I just realized I'm a pawn up. I never noticed I was a pawn up. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's better than not being a pawn up. Hooray. I'm up a pawn. I'm the best. Always repeat. Hooray for Ben. Hmm. 10 Twitter notifications. You suck. I think you suck even more. No, I think he sucks the most. Damn. Harsh. Twitter sucks, what? But I got 2,000 more followers. That's all that matters. All right, back to people my own rating. 650. <laughs> That's right, Sven. About 350. That's right.
It wears me out. It wears me out. Go Braves. Are the Braves playing tonight? I think so. Hey Siri, are the Braves playing tonight? The Braves are not playing today. Oh. Just barely lost to the Nationals <coughs> yesterday. Just barely the lost. Finals? What are you, uh, apologists for the Braves? <coughs> oh yeah, I guess we start our three-game series with the Mets tomorrow. Assuming there's not too many hurricanes. Just a few. It's funny, Karen's been on the Gulf of Mexico the last six days. That's where she's been vacationing with her friends. But not in the part where the hurricanes, like further, you know, it's Port St. Joe, I think, is what it's called. And she went to Dothan today because she has family in Dothan. And it's on the way back. So you get to kill two birds that way. I told her not to do it. She's a vegetarian. But she wants to kill two birds. What am I going to do? Mm hmm it wears me out. Hmm. Chess Brainiac is streaming. Good, good. <laughs> I can confirm trying to learn. I confirm. Trying to confirm. Opposite color bishops, good drawing chances. Slightly better. Dodgers will roll the Braves in the playoffs. That's not what happened last year. Oh, snap. Ugh. I think Chess had a bigger boom because of Queen's Gambit. What's my favorite drama in Chess history? I don't know. Am I going to play in Ludwig's Chess Boxing event? You know it. That's because they're inviting me. Do you have your beads in? No, they're on the table over here. What if I can move the camera and show you? Yeah, no, they're over here. The yogurt cheating scandal. Fabi Rosen. That was pretty scandalous. Who you wanted? Who's texting me? Oh, it's the same text. <laughs> All the time. And I'll play some one minute. I was going to stop streaming, but I'll play some one minute.
Whoa. I did that to stop 93, but he could have just taken it. <laughs> that was funny. Hooray for Ben. It was Ben versus Sven. That was close. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the second train up before I leave. Put some one minute up in this bitch. Close. Wait, 51 moves and I had 18 seconds left? That's fast for me. Okay, let's get a train going. Big money, big money. So today and tomorrow is the last day for you to sub or gift subs and you get 25 or more percent off. So if you were going to gift a sub or sub, you should do it today or tomorrow. October 1st, the prices are jacked up back to the regular price. Boo, boo. Boo regular price. It's September. Wake me up when September ends. Karen's coming back tomorrow night, but probably too late for the stream. I don't know. She'll be back sometime between 4 p.m. and midnight. I don't know where in that, where she'll be back. Shawang gave 20 subs. God damn. Thanks, SC Wang. 20 subs. Mother. God damn. Go, SC Wang. Getting us very close to 1,500 subs. Enzian Hero gave a sub. Hooray. Go sub people. You guys are a sub above. The more you sub, the more money I have. Yeah, but think how much you save by subbing. If you sub in two days, it costs you like more. Marriott today gifted two subs. Go Marriott today. I guess it wasn't time for the train yet. I've been streaming an hour and 12 minutes, so that makes sense. I guess it's going to be like in five minutes. All right, in five minutes, do that again. Marriott today, you're alive and awake. What do you think of your new head of Italy? She's good, right? Somebody give Verb Maker a sub. He made a verb. Do it. Not good, bad news. I am here. If you're here, raise your hand. But no talking. Just keep giving subs until the train happens. Who knows when it'll happen? We're 13 subs away. How many games of chess do I play? If I had a guess, 200,000 would be my guess. Gotta guess something.
All right, anybody challenging me in one minute? In one, Sven is. Go, Sven. Never play F6. Yay, 70 moves. I'm the best. Man, I'm playing faster than I normally do. Go, sub people. Go, people. Sorry, gifted a sub. Thanks, sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier. Captain Jazzwhale subscribed. Oli Twiz 75 subscribed. Skinny Puppy 42 gifted a sub. It's a verb maker, good. Funny thing is, she'll be our first Italian female prime minister. Good, good. That is funny. Man, I hurt my leg that game. I like pulled it. Yeah, those beads are tougher than I was told. <clears throat> Remember kids, no matter how badly you play, you can still win. C'est pas différence. <laughs> Man, Sven's not as bad as he plays. I wonder if he has somebody else playing on his account. That's my assumption. Ooh, 30 second chess. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I beat him when he had 0.1 seconds left. That's good. That's how you're supposed to beat him. Yeah, I made 39 moves in 24 seconds. That's good for me. I'm sort of an old man. Proving I'm better than Niroditsky and Faruja and Tang combined. Bam! Something like that. Hey, a hype train is close. Let's go, people. We finally got the hype train going. Let's do that 20 subs again, okay? Uh, yeah, thanks. Alican subscribed to tier one. Shapes 2000 subscribed. 
Hooray. Go, Ben. That's right, I'm now a Karu somehow. Let's go train. Shapes 2000 gifted a sub. Good, good. That doesn't help the train because you already gifted. We need more help. <laughs> 200 cents to do is from Debugger2B. He started the train. Go Debugger2B. Let's get to level nine. We got to level eight two days ago. The entire internet gifted a sub. Wow. That's pretty good for the internet. Neurononum gifted a sub. Hooray. Eric the Clown says, relax. You're living in the past. Go support. This is, this is your last chance to give subs and it's cheap. In two days, they jack up the prices. Pancake Gremlin subscribed. Go September. I'll wake you guys up when September ends. Let's see, anybody else want to play 30, 37 seconds to one? I don't even understand what that means. It was a one second increment. What? Can I get a what, what? I didn't even mean to take with my knight. But somehow I did anyway. Not bad, I just went take with the point. Yay, Dimebag gifted a million subs. Go Dimebag. I don't know how many he gifted, but it was a lot. Oh, I thought I was threatening Queen F2. I didn't see it was defended. Well, I should see that. Go, Eric the Clown. Yay, 71 moves. Man, I'm playing faster. All right, let's see how many subs Dimebag gave. He gave 10 subs. Yay, thanks, Dimebag. Triple Digit for Life gave 400 cent to dues. Craft Single Square gave 110 cent to dues. Pancake Gremlin subscribed. What else did I miss? Eric the Clown gave five cents. All right, so th they changed the hype train now. You can just keep going up levels. It used to be level five was the end, but we got to level eight two days ago. I don't know what the highest you can get is if there is a highest. It could be you can just go forever, but it could be like nine or ten is the highest. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. Let's get to level nine. Nine, nine, nine. It's not easy, but I'm living in an Amish paradise, so I can, I can, I can deal with it. Yes, I'm the best. 
And that's how you do it, folks. You gotta pre-move those meats. R.I.P. Coolio. All right, let's go, people. The hype train. We need some help. This is your chance. Vitamin R subscribed. Saxophone subscribed. What about saxophone? Why do you have 120,000 subs? I have 120,000 followers. I have about 1,500 subs. Don't confuse followers with subs. Subs pay money, followers don't. 100 centages from Wes. Go Wes. Let's go hype train. We're getting close to level six. Except I'm not kidding. There actually is a level six. <clears throat> yeah, somebody do a marker for the pre-move checkmate. Let's go, people. More talk, play less. I agree. We got one minute left to get to level six. Boo, boo. Come on, people. Let's do it. Sometimes pre-moving don't work. What are you gonna do? Ah, I didn't play Queen takes Rook check. No, I'm cheating with an engine. No, it's a car engine. Queen H3 is the engine move. Queen H3? Oh, no, C7's mate. I didn't see C7 was mate. <laughs> I only saw Queen D7 mate. Well, then, then Queen G1 was the engine move. Hooray for Ben. No, the hype train died. Boo, boo, you guys suck. You guys are the worst, but thanks for all the donations. Thanks to Eric the Clown for 10 bits and trying to learn for 100 bits. And... Rock be the pirate subscribed. Hooray. You guys are the best. All right. Thanks for watching my stream. Sorry I didn't uh, talk about the the, the uh, drama enough, but yeah, I did the beginning. Go drama. Let's see. Time to raid Naroditsky. Naroditsky. Thanks for watching, guys. Go Braves. Go drama. See you guys tomorrow. Karen's coming back tomorrow night. Hooray.